You can come back from the dark side. There's probably some algorithm. How many people you force choke, <gasps> how many planets you blow up, how many times you say sorry, whatever. Genuinely feel bad about it. And that's what Then you can come back. Or as I like to call it, how to get away with mustaches. When I was buying all my underwear at Uniqlo, it was right after I started How to Get Away with Murder, and the cashier was like ringing up all my underwear, and then she sort of looked up for the first time and was like, oh. And it was one of the first times I was recognized in LA, so it was pretty bizarre. And then I was kind of like hurrying through the rest of the Beverly Center to get out. Looks like I'm, it looks like I'm uh, going to a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> My wedding. You fantastic point of view. No one. I fucking hate this part of the airport. It feels like you're in a club. It's terrible. Just do it. You don't have no, do something funny. <laughs> I direct all my Snapchats. Jack, thank you so much for the Christmas cookie. Okay. She's got the new emojis. I don't know what those. Yeah, there's new emojis. You know what I'm talking about. As it went. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you already had them. Just because I got an iPhone again. Uh, but mine would be the upside down smiley face. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. 20 days until the show comes back. See you then. As a lot of you know, I told my car it's totaled as shit. And so now I have to walk everywhere, um, which is very chill, except... Am I doing it? Yeah. With makeup going? One, two, three. Is, oh, Hola, me like llamo Jack Fallahy. No, Te amo, Manco. Besos. Good. Oh, yeah. That's a good dog. Jet <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> My stupid friends cannot decide what kind of pizza to order, and I'm furious, frankly. Yes? It's Brittany. Hey, Brittany. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Lots of cuddling. Hey, that's so nice. Right. Conversationalist? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They probably have to feel free just because they're hard. Just because of the <laughs> you know, he killed someone in our show. You don't know that. What? Matt, uh, you know, Asher doesn't know. <laughs> I'm not doing it, I'm doing this as me. Matt McGorry. Oh, Matt was, oh, okay, you're yeah. watching the show. What yeah. you oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. Hola. 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 How to Get Away with Murder is back 10-9 Central on yeah. ABC. Great. We're coming at you live from Universal Studios, California. It's pouring wet. You want to say that's my face? Yeah, it's gross. You need to clean your phone screen. <laughs> yoo -hoo. These guys, I know, people always ask me why at the hotel they put like a net around the balconies of the rooms. These guys. Sometimes you expect that would be related with the mosquitoes or with some kind of flies. But actually this guy, they climb on trees. So they discover that uh, sometimes people leave the uh, balcony door open. <laughs> and eventually you get fruit, so you get food in your uh, suitcases. And this guy discovered how to climb on trees, jump in the balconies, get in the room and destroy your uh, uh, your luggage.
to get the food out of that. It's a, ra a raccoon. So that long nose that you see, the main purpose of that nose is actually be smelling. What's up, gang? First day back on the set of How to Get Away with Murder, season four. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Let's do this. How big of a social media guy are you? Est-ce que vous êtes très présent sur les réseaux sociaux? You know, I nine out of ten times, I really enjoy it, and the reactions and the interactions with fans are great. But I tend to get really low on the lows and really high on the highs, and so sometimes when I read a comment that might be a little hurtful, it really affects me. So I sort of have a love-hate relationship with social media. Me, but you have yeah. bouts of uncontrollable. Uh, yeah, you're right. I do get like very angry. Right. When I see it. <laughs> yeah, I stole actually I stole one of your protein bars yesterday. You did, but I asked. That's true, you did. Oh yeah, pretty kitty, pretty kitty, pretty kitty. Uh, I'm in Virginia. It's really fucking hot, but I got barbecue, so that's good. <laughs> Now, bitch. <laughs> I'm getting um, hydrogen <laughs> and uh... <laughs> Wow, this is extraordinary, folks. I've never seen anything like it. Whee! Yeah, for sure. I guess so. Oh, yeah. Have I really snorted? No, but you don't. You know, I like. I mean, I just, like a metaphorical snort. Yeah. You well, do like, my, I do it. I do. I do it. Yeah. I have this head gesture where I go. Yeah, or laugh. I don't know why. <laughs> my one friend theorized that I don't want to like spit in someone's face when I laugh at you. That's very nice of you. Hello. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's some place that he runs. He says, Bill, I'm the ghetto. Sounds like a carnival. And the microphone smells like a beer. And they sit at the bar and put the song. Can you play me a memory? I'm not really sure how it goes. But it sounds. Still at it. Some say he's still doing it. <laughs> We're going to a concert. And sometimes it's, it's not about seeing things, it's about hearing things. <laughs> Concerts are for that specifically. Yo, it's TGIT. Yeah. Woo. What's good, fam? You mind if I just real quick? Watch the. Yeah, for the lift, dog. All right, let's go. Close call. Okay, I'm gonna see the future. Nope. <laughs> oh, you can do that. You can nope anything. That's the whole point of it. Okay, I'm gonna see the future. <laughs> Oh, hey, wow. it's live. I thought hey, it was a photograph. It's good to see you. We're on our way to the Paley oh, Center. Oh, and that's Billy Brown. Live tweet. Yes. Live oh, tweet. Yeah. TGIT. East Coast. How to get away with murder. Someone dies. We'll be there. Hashtag crazy. There are many people that die. Bananas. Lost Carla. Yokiro. 
Ninja, attack! Attack! Alright, well, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go and get out of the way. So long. You just don't even give a shit. Hey, uh, I'm Jack Fallahy here supporting Trevor Project, which means the world to me. Um, especially given recent events in the election, I think all the support that we can give to LGBT youth is, is crucial. What's the best advice you've ever received that you would give someone else? Um, to, you know, each and every day try and love yourself for who you are. Um, that's, that's all you got. Uh, and sometimes it's hard, but but you're worth it.